Hey, Mitt Romney, uh, again, hello, uh, you probably don't remember me, remember me because I'm not sure that you saw my first couple videos, uh, in reply to you, um, uh, okay, now I know it's going to seem a little bit like I'm picking on you, uh, but I'm not, your videos just catch my attention the most, and so, I guess, good show to you on catching my attention. Uh, today, or rather, in this video that I'm replying to, you speak about MySpace and about the sex offenders registered on MySpace, and one little comment you made really caught my attention. And that was, uh, you saying that 29,000 people on MySpace are registered sex offenders. 29,000. That seems like a really, really damn big number. And it is a lot of people. But I, what I found interesting was that you didn't put it into perspective. Now look at MySpace. Look at it, if you will, from the point of view of a, a child sex offender. Who, who wishes to molest again. It's a gold mine. It really is. I mean, that's, that's why parents have all, almost from its inception had a problem with MySpace, because it really is. It, it, it's like a gold mine for child molesters. It's not very well patrolled. It has to, by nature of being a networking site, be open to everybody. And despite what your and despite your claim about it being a networking site for kids to get in touch with kids, it's not. Um, you see, there are a lot of people that I know, that I keep in touch with even, on MySpace, who are not nearly kids, or even close to kids anymore. There are plenty of people that are young adults. There are, are people in their 20s, 30s, on MySpace. It's not a big deal. I don't understand this mentality that there has to be a separation between kids and adults. But, back to the whole, it being a gold mine for child molesters thing. So, it being a gold mine for child molesters, you would think that the ratio of child molesters to actual users would be greater than, you know, 29,000 to 106 million. Now, I don't happen to have a calculator right on me here, and uh, I sure as hell don't feel like doing that in my head. But 29,000 sex offenders out of 106 million users, and that's uh, as of 2006, so it's, it's much bigger by now. That's a pretty small ratio. You know what, to, even, to put it in even even better terms, make it a little bit easier, a little bit more obvious, um, 29,000 sex offenders. There are, let me check to make sure I have the exact right number here, there are 230,000 new profile registrations per day. 230,000. That's... That's over twice. That's a lot over twice the amount of sex offenders. Alright? Now, I'm not saying that sex offenders being on MySpace is a good thing. 
What I'm saying is, by the nature of the site, it is unavoidable that there will be some on there. Because in order to keep all of them off, even if, even if that were a realistic ideal, which is not, even if you were to try and keep them all off, you would have to violate the basic necessities of a networking site to do so. And, if you take away freedom on MySpace, people won't use it anymore. Why do you think more restrictions haven't already been put in place? All the kids will move, and the child molesters will just move on to their next thing. It's not like it's gonna have them stop. Oh yeah. And uh, the whole one strike in your eyes thing. So you're saying that a person has one bout of bad judgment. Um, and I know that, you know, a bout of bad judgment involving, you know, molesting kids would be absolutely evil and all that, all that shit. But what you're basically saying is, there's no way he'll ever get better, there's no way that we can ever, you know, rehabilitate him, there's no way he can ever be a human again, ever. He's now a child molesting cyborg, and only does what he is programmed to do. That's bullshit, and you know it. You know it, I know it. I don't know why the people you're talking to don't know it. The point is, is everybody deserves a second chance. I'm all for the long prison sentence thing. I'm all for that. GPS monitoring after that, I think that's a little bit much. I think that would be more of a second offense kind of thing. Alright, I shall talk to you later. Try not to get, you know, dead before I talk to you next, because that would be bad. <laughs>